Hi! Welcome to Far Cry 4. This is the first balance of power mission where you have to choose between a meter and Saban. Have I ever got his name right? I don't know. Um, but after you unlock the first outpost, uh, this mission appears. You can see it on the mini map there. You go in here and this chick will talk to you. No! You're a drunk! I would not want to walk in there right now. What are they arguing about? Pagan Min soldiers are about to attack one of our... This is about lives. If we don't act, people will die. This is about war. We need that intel. We're talking about soldiers we can use. Remember what you said about DARPA? And if I had a choice between DARPA and the intelligence, I choose the intel. So, yeah, choice. A balance of power missions are critical to the Golden Path, but a meter and Sabal? Sabal! Okay, remember, Sabal have different goals. Um, the idea is, uh, presumably, that there are two entirely different outcomes. It says that this will create new objectives and upcoming missions and detain the leader of the Golden Path until the balance of power, until the next balance of power missions. I don't actually know how much change there will be, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to play through a meter first time and then probably do a replay as Sabal. Um, so we will see what happens. But here is Amita. Amita, I can get you that intel. Okay. We've been hearing of a major attack for a while and then Bonnebo was hit, but it doesn't feel right. I think something big is coming and the intel could confirm that. But we haven't heard from the camp since the attack, so watch yourself. So yeah, she is all about the intel. Um, and this mission, as you'll see, is going to be... And I've cut ahead because I ended up spending about four hours just monkeying around in the wilderness. Um, the unlocking towers and hunting and just kind of exploring and picking up masks and chests and posters and... Lord alone knows what else. Well, you can see from all the missions I've uploaded, right? But even that is only a small part of what I did. Um, those rhinos also mean. Um, the elephant gun, which I got as a pre-order bonus, finishes them off pretty nicely, but I want to find a way that's going to work for everyone. Um, you can always dance around a tree, actually. Anyway, I digress. Again. Uh, <laughs> that's the very nature of Far Cry 4, distraction at every turn. Uh, so the first part of this mission, you've got to go to Camp Alpha, and that's where I am now, and find three pieces of intel. Uh, so you loot bodies, and it's those little yellow circles on the mini-map that are where the intel is. There's like three or four bodies in the first two, and then one in the second one, but it's underwater. Um, so that was the first piece of intel there, and there's obviously a few chests littered around as well. Uh, also, they are they have, there we go, a new enemy type. Uh, the Hunter, who fires arrows. Um, and I tagged him here, I think, or used a syringe, maybe. Um, let's see, I think I used a syringe. I was like, oh, okay, that's going to be quite easy. He's got an arrow, whatever. Um, so you can see him there. I tried to get a shot off, but he ran behind the rock. The dastardly fellow. Uh, so there's a bit of a dance here while I try and get a bead on him um, without much luck. I thought I could get a headshot in there, but sadly not. Um, yeah, and it's so I encounter, I think, maybe one, maybe two of these guys before. Oh, uh, and I'm looking for the second body, but it turns up it's above me, um, which makes sense because I can't explore that whole yellow area from down here anyway. And there's another arrow. And see, the tag's gone. So uh, hunters will only stay tagged for a short while, and they can also um, headshot. They can also have, you know, see, after I kill them, I get told about them. Silent lethal units communicate with whistles, you know, whatever. Uh, they can see through vegetation, tag for a few seconds, and they can charm predators to attack you. And also don't run into fires, kids. Um, so I headed around here, and I think another arrow comes in in a second. Yeah, there we are, so there's another hunter there. And I've got to say, they're kind of annoying. Um, and there is a wolf that I guess the dude uh, tagged or charmed uh, to attack me. Charm seems like the wrong word. Um, I'm 
trying to think of a better one. Train? Uh, well, I suppose it would be short-term training. Um, compel? Force? Charm? Yeah, I guess charm. <laughs> Digression again. Anyway, climbing up here to get up to the upper level. And there's a body there, which I think I... Oh, no. Yeah, I can loot it. I feel like I came in from that direction, but as you may know, my sense of direction is pretty appalling, so really anything's possible. Oh, popping around here, I think I see... Oh no, maybe not. I thought the hunter was up here. But there's certainly the second piece of intel up here. Oh, here it is. Here. There we are. Um, and it, for some reason, wouldn't let me loot that body initially, so what I've started to do is just walk around holding X, um, which is the loot button, and just walk over a body, and same with chests. And when you get close, it'll just do it for you, rather than trying to find the exact little finickety place where it wants the prompt to display. Uh, there he is. Headshot, pal! Um, <laughs> I like this little weapon. Uh, range isn't great, obviously. Pistol. But, um, yeah. I mean, we've been over the whole suppression and silence thing. Ooh, another one to see. But, and big spread though. I really want to get the skill that makes hip fire accuracy better. Um, but there are more important things to get first. Uh, that being said, I think by the end of this playthrough, that I did actually now a couple of days ago, all this footage that I'm cutting together, um, I basically unlocked pretty much all the skills on the tiger path, the one on the left, the combat ones, and most of the ones on the elephant ones. Um, which uh, I'd unlocked by doing various bits and pieces, and it's interesting, the skills unlock by doing particular missions, so like one unlocks, there's a demon fish, and I imagine it was already tagged because, oh, possibly the hunting syringe actually, I was going to say maybe the hunter set it on me, but actually the, the hunting syringe makes a lot more sense. Uh, and there is the third piece of intel there in the river, um, and like a flare I guess, and a weird chain, I don't know, whatever. So that's the checkpoint. Uh, when I get out of here, I think I tell Amita that, uh... Amita, I got the intel. Okay, Ajay. Now go to the other camp and see what you can do. Yeah, see, there you go. Now go to the other camp and see what you can do. So there's a bit of a run through here. Um, farming. And then I saw this guy here. Uh, and this other camp is basically full of hunters and... I think you call them chargers? I forget. Anyway, the dudes with the knives who just come in close and want to stab you in the face. And one of them catches me out, um, you'll see I die. But fortunately it's checkpointed, you may have seen the checkpoint load after I grabbed that third piece of intel. So it's not the end of the world. Um, but, these birds, oh, damn the eagles. I kind of feel bad killing endangered species so wantonly. But honestly, these things just come and claw your face from nowhere. Um, the biggest threat, like, by far, in this is the animals rather than the... Um, Ah, grenade launcher, this is left over from my demon fish hunting, so I thought, well, actually, do you know what, I'm sick of just trying to snipe these guys. They're clearly stealth. They see me before I see them. So I'm just going to blow them up in the face. Um, yeah, look, see that eagle? That's what they do to you. And they mess you up. They take, like, two health bars off. It's ridiculous. So I feel a little bit bad killing them. A little bit. Um, but it's a game. So, and it's like the rhinos, That's that was the first one, like, you need rhino skins to craft, and you've got to kill uh, these um, Asian rhinos, and I'm pretty sure they're an endangered species too. Uh, honey badgers are my highlight though. Uh, as far as I can tell, they only come out at night. Um, bye bye doggy, wolf. Uh, and it's good, there's a few, like, you can see on the map, some blue and uh, red plant. Oh, is that a green one? No, that's a blue one. Um, Oh, snakes as well! Off to farm plants and the snake bites me. Oh. Um, so, yeah, the wildlife in this is just a way, way bigger threat. Oh, I'm poisoned. I didn't notice that before. Um, oh, no, it's that thing. It's the bird. Uh, see, and they're just... Because they move so fast. And I don't particularly want to go guns blazing with, uh, like, a rapid-fire weapon. So I'm just trying to snipe it as it comes in for the killing kill or the face clawing move. Unfortunately I got it. And you get a feather which is worth like 10,000 something. Rupees, credits, kiats, I don't know. And there's a little hidden area here but there's so many green plants around uh, you don't really need it. There's a health kit and I just saw the chest sign so I was like, ooh chest must pick up. Um, but other than that it's pretty much a dead end. 
And then it's just a little question of uh, heading towards. And I kind of I tried to speed a lot of this up, but actually there aren't any great places to speed it up because I was like, I was, I'll speed up that picking the plant, and then there's a, a snake again. Um, yeah, see poison. There it is. There, get him. Note down. There, there. Yeah, there. One dead snake. And it was after that when I saw this dead snake curled up that I remembered they were in Far Cry 3 too. Stupid snakes. Um, you can't skin them either. Uh, which I guess makes sense. It'd be nice actually, do you know, if you could have poison arrows, that would be pretty cool. Um, so if you could, I don't know, harvest snake venom in some way. Which seems to me no less likely than being able to skin a bear. Um, with a knife in a second flat. But I you know, I'm being picky now. Uh, but there is, well, that's a wolf, I think, and uh, there is a hunter, so I started off using a uh, riper sniper, which I thought that was kind of a headshot, right? It seems like that should have been a headshot to me, anyway. Um, there's, what, seven or eight people down here? There's another hunter. Um, and there is the knife man who got me. I just wasn't ready for him. They do quite a lot of damage quite quickly. Probably should have come in here with body armor, really. Although, actually, the body armor may have run down in the first... Um, area anyway when I got hit by all those arrows and then by the snake. So who knows. There's also some skills to reduce damage from um, or a syringe to reduce damage from melee. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. That was miles off target. Um, there is a, a syringe to reduce melee damage uh, and also a syringe to reduce um, to increase damage done, but you increase damage taken. And there's body armor, and there's a skill to reduce damage taken overall from like fire explosions. And I don't know if you reduce it from melee. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, the good thing about uh, the hunters, well, not the good thing. The different thing is that you don't get a thing to show that they've seen you, like the bar that fills up for recognition. But you do for the other guys. So actually, you can use that to know when um, guys are coming at you with knives because you got those arrows, right? Um, Screw you, buddy. Uh, and I think at this point, I probably decide the grenade launcher is a good move again. Yeah, there we go. Uh, bye. Bye bye. And then I go to loot that body and pick up the bow, and then someone's shooting at me. So I'm like, oh god, I can't pick up the grenade launcher. Now I'm really in trouble, and it's the bow without the sight. And oh god, what's going to happen? Uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot him in the chest. After I heal myself. No, before I heal myself. Kind of a nice headshot with an arrow. Uh, and I can't believe that I get this shot from here, but I go for another one and somehow manage to pick him off. And it's lucky that actually the objective here, even though I haven't noticed at this point, is just to kill everyone um, and not recover intel, because you'll see my judicious use of the grenade launcher ends up blowing up kind of everything around me. So uh, were I to need to in any way you know, explore this stuff and although, you know, you imagine the game would actually not let you destroy key bits of information. But uh yeah the grenade launcher powerful, destroy stuff. And uh it says the hunters use fire arrows. So I was looting them in the hope that I might actually get some fire arrows off them, but you don't, which is actually kind of annoying. Um because fire arrows are pretty much the only thing that I've really spending money on that's worthwhile. And I actually really need to upgrade my quiver so I can carry more because carrying four at a time isn't great. And then I'm trying to find the last guy, or anyone that's left, and there's the last guy there. And that, pretty much, is mission completed. Hunt or be hunted. So I'm really really curious to see what will happen um, with Sabal's mission. If it's going to be the same area, you're going to have to go and do the same thing. And it's just going to be slightly different objectives, or if it's actually going to be a wildly different mission. It's a map of a temple or something. Okay, Ajay. This could be important. I'll check it out. And thank you. Thank you for following my lead. Sure, Amita. My pleasure. Um, it was kind of arbitrary, if I'm honest. Yours was the icon I saw first. Um, but anyway, on the left is the demon fish hunting mission. Um, grenade fishing, always fun. And on the right is uh, up by Mr. Chiffon's house. There's a few hidden... Well, there's not hidden, but there's a few icons that are off the map. And so I went exploring to find those. It's a mask and I think a lost letter. Um, but uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.